Okay, everybody. So in today's maths learning, your learning objective is I can recite the months of the year. Okay, so you've already done some learning on the days of the week. Now you're going to move on to the months of the year. So what I want you guys to think about is, first of all, do you know what the month is? So we know that the day is Wednesday today, but what month are we in? Do you guys know? Have a little think. Okay, so the month that we are in is June. Do you recognize that word? Do you know what the months are? Let me do some teaching to show you, okay? So today, guys, we're gonna be learning about the months of the year. Okay, guys, so the first month of the year is January. As you can see from this picture, we've got um, snowflakes, we've got a little robin there, and we've got snow on the ground, because in January, it is very, very cold outside, okay? Oh, look, a little snowman over here as well. So it's very cold in January, and that's when the new year starts. So the first month of the year is January. Okay, everyone, the next month of the year is February. As you can see, it's still really cold outside. February, we have Valentine's Day on February the 14th. Um, so that's an exciting day. And that is still near the beginning of the year. February is also really interesting as it's the shortest month of the year. Okay, so the next month is February. Okay, guys, and the next month that we've got is March. It begins with a mmm. And as you can see from the picture, things start to get a little bit warmer during March. Can you see all of the lambs that are out and about? And the daffodils are starting to bloom. So this is the very beginning. Can you think of what season we're at the beginning at if we start going into March? But as you can see, it really starts to warm up. Okay, then the next month we have is April. Okay, so in April, as you can see, we've still got the little lambs out and the daffodils are blooming and it gets much warmer during April. You have your school holidays in April and normally the weather is quite lovely. Um, so you get to go out and do lots of lovely things. You get to bike ride, go for walks, go and play at the park. We're really out of winter by now, so the weather is much, much warmer. Okay, then the next month is May. By the time we get to May, we're, it's still getting much warmer. During May, you mostly have some really hot days. Uh, we have a bank holiday in May called May Day, which is so exciting. Um, and you usually get to spend this outside because the weather is already getting so much nicer. And then we're into June. And June is the month that we're currently in. And as you can see, she's got her book. She's doing some sunbathing at the beach with an ice cream. Um, and although we can't go to the beach yet, there have been some very, very lovely days. So whether you can enjoy this from being outside on a walk or whether you just enjoy this from looking outside to the garden, either way, the weather is getting much, much nicer. I mean, we are in England, so there will be, still be some rainy days all through, but we're really, really edging on summer now in June. Okay, then we move on to July. Um, tricky to tell the difference because they both begin with a J sound, but after June comes July, and in July you guys break up for your summer holidays. Um, you get some really, really hot days in July. We spend a lot of times outside at school. It's where we would usually do sports day, go on our school trip. Um, all of those wonderful things, it's a really, really happy time because the weather just makes it so much easier to be outside and we love to be outside, don't we? So July. Okay, then the next month we have is August. Okay, so during August, you guys are not at school. That is your school holiday. So that's when you get to pack in lots and lots of fun things to do. Um, you might even go on a holiday if you're really lucky. But August is um, the summer and the weather is beautiful mostly, and you get to go out and just do a lot more by not um, being booked at school all week, okay? Okay, then we get to September. So as you can see, the background here has changed. Um, do you notice what's happening with the leaves? What might that mean for the seasons? Um, in September, we do come back to school after summer. The weather is still quite beautiful in September, most Septembers, um, but as you can see, we're back to school and things do start to change. So from the beginning of September to the end of the month, you will see quite a difference in the weather. Okay, then we have October. So um, in October, we really are getting into autumn. The leaves are changing. Um, they're fall, it's starting to fall off the trees and it is getting much colder. You might not need a coat in September for some of it, but by October you will definitely need your coat.
And then we get to November. So November, I know, is my birthday month. My birthday is the 21st of November. Do you know your birthday month? So in November, it gets much, much, much colder and we do start to prepare for Christmas. Advent then starts. Then we have December and December is the last month of the year. As you can see from the background, it's got snowflakes and snowmen and snow on the ground. It's very, very cold in December. You will need your coats, your hats, your gloves, your scarves. And it is the same month of Christmas. So it is Jesus's birthday in December. That is December 25th. Okay guys, so you have two tasks to complete today in our lesson. So the first task that I would like you to do is to make up a song for the months of the year. So you know how we had the days of the week song that we found on YouTube? That was so fun. Um, but how much more exciting if you guys could actually think up a little tune and write the song yourself. So I might try and be like, January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Okay, so that's one way that you might sing it. You guys might be able to think up a really, really lovely song. So I'd love the first task for you guys to be to think up and sing a months of the year song to help you to remember them, okay? Okay guys, now the next task that I would like you guys to do is a little research task. So I would love you guys to find out the months of the year that people in your home were born. Okay, it might be adults, it might be brothers, sisters, cousins, whoever's in your house. I'd like you to go around, then in your workbook I'd like you to write their name and next to it to try to write the month of the year that they were born in by asking them. Okay? Then the last thing that I'd like you to do is to try to learn your birthday. Okay, so that is the day, so what, which number day of the month you were born. So for me, that would be 21st. I was born on the number two and a one, 21. And then the month that you were born, so I was born in November. And the year that you were born, okay? So the day, the month and the year that you were born, that's your next task and I'd like you to learn your birthday, write it in your book, but I'd like you to revisit this so that by the time you come back to school, if somebody says, what date is your birthday, you can tell them. Okay, good job guys.